Okay, we're on to week three of Bat-tober. Stick around. I'm going to show you exactly what the mistake is I made. Hello to all my friends out there in YouTube land. It is your good buddy, Fantastic Phil here, and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Or I'd like to welcome you to continue if you've just come from the prior week's video, which if you didn't, you should watch anyway. If you didn't, at least, then I'll put a card around there so you can do so. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So right off the bat, week three, the first word was really hard. And like I said before, if I have an idea and then when I go to draw it out, I see that somebody else did something similar to it, I'll stop and I'll think of a new one. And this is that case. The word was air, and my original idea was going to do some sort of variation of like Air Jordan sneakers, but make them like with the character for this for this day that I had Batwoman. But when I logged onto my IG, somebody had something like that. So I was like, ah, can't do that. So the next thing I could think of with air was an air fryer. And you could tell that I'm a married guy because I know what an air fryer is. And chances are, if you've been married within the past five to 10 years, you probably have an air fryer, whether you use it or not. Uh, we do, we do, I'll, I'll say that much. So here I have Batwoman just using the air fryer to make some french fries. And look, I, I hope that nobody thought that I was being too, you know, chauvinistic, like, oh, here's Batwoman cooking dinner, you know, that kind of crap. And no, this is just simply, I ran out of ideas and here's Batwoman. So there you go. And, I don't think anybody got too offended. It got 20 likes, which is pretty good for this week. Okay, the next one is one of the lower like, uh, like uh, thumbs up, let's say, getter pictures, because I can't talk right now. That's why I'm recording a video uh, of the whole challenge. And the word was protective, and I had killer croc. So I wanted to do something like Silence of the Lambs, because every time I, I've seen killer croc in other media, whether it be that god awful Suicide Squad movie, the first one, I think my wife is the only person, at least I've spoken to, who's liked that movie. Hi, honey. Uh, and uh, the Arkham games, you know, Killer Croc is always, like, confined to some far-off area from the rest of the inmates because, look, he's a crocodile. He's probably going to eat somebody. So, again, I wanted to kind of harness that Silence of the Lambs feel with it. And uh, here I, I've got him in his cell, and you've got Amanda Waller. Uh, we're looking right over her shoulder. And, uh, you know, she, maybe she's putting together Task Force X. Maybe she's just giving him a stare down because that's what she does. Um, overall, I thought I did okay with it, but not great. I realized that maybe I went a little too far with gray shading. I should have just stuck into the straight black or white. And um, maybe I would have done a little bit better on that. But that was an okay concept. Execution was up in the air. I think I was a little too focused with trying to get Killer Croc to look like a crocodile man which I, I thought was okay. But 14 likes, again, it was one of the lowest of the entire challenge. Week, the next one was Skull. And like I said, I like to have fun when I do these. So um, just kind of like Lucius Fox on the prior week, uh, Jim Gordon, Commissioner Gordon, if you will, has a different look no matter really what kind of iteration of Batman you're looking at from the 1966 series to the 1989 movie to the animated series and to the Christopher Nolan films, even to the, the Gotham show. By the way, I know somebody who played uh, Bruce Wayne's, I think, great, great, was it Bruce Wayne's? Yeah, Bruce Wayne's great, great grandfather on that series. But I digress. Um, so the version I wanted to use was closer to the Christopher Nolan version of, of uh, Commissioner Gordon. And I figured, uh, I know that the Christopher Nolan that we, uh, Christopher Nolan, excuse me, that the Commissioner Gordon that we know um, just doesn't have time for anything but. I don't know, probably smoking, drinking black coffee, and calling Batman. But uh, I decided, what if our Bat-tober 2022 Commissioner Gordon maybe had a hobby? Maybe it was community theater, and he happens to be starring in the Gotham Playhouse's uh, rendition of Hamlet. So I had fun with this one, I'm not going to lie to you, and I think I did well. I liked doing a little pose. And uh, I think people agreed with me, 24 likes, probably one of the larger ones for this entire challenge. Next one was Grant. I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, now this is the one of the cases where somebody online did something similar, but I had a different approach and I made it different enough where I think I pulled it off and I really like how I looked at this. Uh, so again, the word was grand, the character was Catwoman. So I pictured her breaking into this high-end apartment 
in the middle of the night. All the lights are out because if you're robbing an apartment, you probably don't want to turn the lights on. I don't know. I'm an honest guy. I don't steal, so I'm just assuming. Uh, and the lights are out. She's overlooking this giant Gotham cityscape. And she's taking a brief moment. Maybe she's taking, I guess you could say, a little bit of a victory lap to sit at this giant grand piano and just sit on it. And again, I really like how this one turned out. One of my favorites, and one of everybody else's favorites here too, 23 likes. The next one, this is where I messed up. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'll tell you, I have to tell you more about it because it involves something from the next week. Uh, the word was atone. I don't know if I pulled this one off right. I didn't get the message quite across. The character I had was Phantasm. So Phantasm, if you don't know, from the animated film The Mask of Phantasm, which you should see because it's really one of my favorite Batman films, if not my favorite of, of all of them. That's right. It's a cartoon. It's my favorite. Uh, she was recently in the Batman Catwoman series, which I just wrapped up a couple weeks ago, the Tom King series, and it was an okay take on her, too. Very similar. And uh, her character's all about hunting down criminals and atoning for their sins. So in this case, I was like, well, maybe she's... Maybe we've got a... And I've realized that I just kind of spoiled it, <laughs> if you didn't see the movie. But you should. I'm not going to go too much into it. Uh, we've got the character looking into the, the mirror, and... She should see her own reflection, but all she sees is Phantasm. And uh, in this, I was trying to capture that she's kind of like the flip side, at least to me, of Batman. And many people have made this this uh, assessment of it, too, where whereas Bruce Wayne is not the real Batman. There's not the real character. Batman is the real character, and Bruce Wayne is the, the alias. Same thing with, uh, with Phantasm. Christopher Nolan said it much better than I did in the first Batman Begins movie. You should watch that one because I kind of garbled it now because I'm tired and I didn't bring water down with me. The next one is Crash. Again, I tried to do something fun with this. So I have kind of classic, I guess you could say a mix between classic and animated Riddler here sitting in his, I guess, office. Though I think I made it look a little too much like a dorm room. And he's playing guitar. Maybe this is how he figures out what his riddles are. I have a nice little call back to the the Batman movie in the back. And on the other side of the wall is a poster from Dave Matthews' band. Yes, he is playing Crash. Because, like all supervillains, they're they're fans of Dave Matthews. Now, uh, I don't know. I kind of looked at it as like a, a Sherlock Holmes-esque type of thing. You know, Sherlock Holmes, to figure things out, would play a violin. And I guess this is the motion you make when you want to play a violin. I don't know. I've never made that before in my life. But now you get to see it online. Lucky you. Um, so no, we have Riddler just kind of strumming guitar. And maybe this is how, again, he comes up with his riddles. And the last one. I'm not going to lie to you. This one's a fail for me. Elegant. And the character I had was Clayface. Nine times out of ten when you see Clayface in one of these challenges, he's kind of drowning somebody. Uh, but what people kind of forget with Clayface, at least in my opinion, is that he can really kind of shapeshift. So I was trying to capture the idea that maybe Clayface has kind of transformed himself into this elegant looking woman, but he's falling apart because if he stays in there too long, that's what he does. And uh, I don't know that I pulled it off. It's not my favorite, and it's not your favorite either. Just 14 likes. So uh, you should go on to week, let's see, this is week three. So you should go on to the week four video, which is going to come up right there because I'm going to explain to you in that video how I messed up both this week, week three rather, and week four. So go ahead and watch that. Uh, if not now, then whenever I post it. Uh, go ahead and give me a like if you'd like. And by the way, in case you didn't hear me mention it before, I am nominated for a Comic Book Community Award. Voting ends November 12th. I am nominated in the category of People's Choice. If you haven't voted already, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to, yeah, <laughs> I'd love your support, of course. So go ahead and vote now. Uh, there's a link in the question in the description and all that fun stuff. Well, I'll see you in a few minutes. Peace, love, and comics. Take care.